Hello, and welcome to Hitter Glitch, and our first episode where we're recording it on camera. Say hi to the camera, everyone. Hi to the Hello, camera. camera. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we're coming back to our uh, new season, fifth edition. Heroes welcome. Uh, last time we left off, uh, you guys, that would be... Yeah, uh, Valorn, Stakar, and Moshi Thrace. Trace. Trace. I, I keep getting that name wrong. <laughs> uh, so you guys had uh, just finished a kind of a dream sequence running through the capital uh, city, uh, through the castle. So if it was a dream sequence, do I get my hit points back? No. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that last time. It was you a guys, very painful. You, guys... you die in the Matrix, you die in real life. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, you guys, basically, after the fight was over, you guys teleported back to where you were uh, before it started, and you still were down your hit points, but you had all your equipment that you had already picked up. So you guys are actually back. Well, no. Stakar was still in the middle of the party, and everybody's freaking out about it because oh, he has okay. weapons. It's true. Yes, but yes, it's it is. Just a dagger. It is just a dagger. And uh, the white. Uh... Look, look, I'll just put it away. <laughs> no, it's not that one. Oh, darn. It's my dagger of warning. Yeah. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Uh, it's no. for the cheesecake. Just <laughs> 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 to cut my meat. Okay, yeah, so uh, you guys were, before the dream sequence happened, you were chasing after the counselor of lore. Uh, because uh, Raytree sent you on a mission to go find out what she's up to because he believes her to be in cahoots with bad people. Um, I believe you were making friends with the Dragonborn guard, who's really big. I was playing tag, hide and seek. Yeah. <laughs> One of the two. <laughs> a little of both. Yeah. He kind of went with it, and I think you were going to going to the armory for some reason? Uh, well, since I have my dagger, I have no reason to go there. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah. I, I was snooping around. Uh, I'm gonna... Yes, first thing I'll do is look around for these two guys since... Yeah, they're just down the hallway from you. You okay, can kind of see them. them. And they did call for you. Okay. At the end. I remember so, um, yeah. While everyone's free and I'm just gonna... Bye, thanks, and walk towards them. Okay, cool. Swap, swap cheesecake. <laughs> exactly. I'll just kind of do a flipper back flip. As I, I okay. As you fly into the air. <laughs> I don't have that spell. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. That would have been awesome. I okay. Teleport you. Okay, so you guys are, are you going to sneak out, or are you just busting through that door now that it's open for you? Or Oh, it is open now? I remember uh, it being locked or something. Yeah, it was uh, shielded by some kind of spell. Oh, okay, well, I'll, I'll check the door. Yeah, it's open. Uh, this just leads out into the courtyard that's between the the main castle proper and the outlying buildings there for each of the different races. The elves, okay. dragonborn, um, humans. And can I assume that uh, as, as a typical party in a castle like this, that people basically are coming out for the guard to get some no time to get out of the, the press of the crowd. Yeah, there are people doing that, yes. Okay. Um, then I think I'll lead us to the corner okay. of the guard. Um, on your way out, uh, roll me a perception check. All of us? Roll. Yeah, everybody wants to. All right. That is going to be a 21. See it? I got a 1. Okay, no. <laughs> It's those eyes set on the side of the head. Uh, <laughs> and and me, I'm, I'm, I'm probably okay. wearing that. Helmet. Neither of you two do it. You're kind of still kind of flustered by what just happened. And are kind of like, is it going to happen again? Is it going to happen again? It's a car. You're walking out and you see running across the, well, not running, more uh, speed walking, but it's a lot more majestic, is the Counselor of Lore running, uh, speed walking to her uh, council chambers, the elven council place on the side. I'll uh, 
Okay. Hit this guy on the shoulder, point it, and start following. Okay. So, you guys go there. Oh, they got the same one as Sir Bedivere. <laughs> Sir Bedivere? <laughs> I, I the just metal, knock the on his helmet. They're right in front of the eyes. Can't see anything. Go <laughs> just lift it up and see where you're going. Okay, so we're on a new map. So you guys are coming from the left side of the map. Here. Unfortunately, we lost the mustache. So. Uh, you guys are coming from the left. I could draw one on with a piece of charcoal. I'm sure. Yeah, you guys are coming through there. There's a door over there. Um, so, uh, you guys just going to walk in, or are you going to sit at the door and listen? Or yeah, no, I'm going to walk in. I'm following this he's, person. He's hunting. Okay. I, he's on the trail. <laughs> yeah, you are first. <laughs> Who's second? He is our... Uh, uh, or are you guys coming at the same time? Yeah. No, I think you're probably first and I'm second. Okay. That way. Yes. Okay, so you, you come in. Um, this room has very neat acoustics that wherever you're standing, you heard it. You can hear anywhere else in the, the room that you're in. Mm. So you can prop, you hear the, the voice of Counselor Floor seems to be talking to someone. Um, she's saying something along the lines of, where is she? Where is my sister? Innkeeper that you guys stayed at, uh, that's her sister. Annie, right? Huh? Mr. San. Yes, Mr. San. Mr. San is the innkeeper. This is uh, Thaya Hartfire. Um, and then the counselor of lore walks through this door and disappears beyond your guys' sight. Uh, roll another perception test. So that's going to be a 12. Oh, 12. there we go. We got a 15. That's a natural 20, so 23. Okay. So, um, fif uh, 15 and above, so you, not me. Uh, you hear her walking in, and then uh, as soon as you notice that, as soon as the door closes, you can't hear anything from her room where, where she walked in. But you are hearing something, sounds like footsteps echoing from somewhere else in the uh, 24, you said? 23. 23. Okay, 23. Uh, you're able to tell that it's two sets of footsteps, and they're trying to be very stealthy. Get a, do I get a direction? They are coming from... This way. Did she go right? Yeah, she went in here. She went to oh, our up. left. <laughs> she, she went to <laughs> uh, I will attempt to stealth. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be funny. Do it. Should I just stand still? Uh, and head toward the table. I think. If I see him moving stealthily, I will stealthily accompany him. I'll just try to stop. That's gonna be an eleven. Okay. My bonus was one higher than my roll. Let me roll the perception. Can I, if, if I, if I'm not moving, can I get advantage on my stealth? No, <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. Yeah, no. Let's just stand at attention. Okay, so what you guys roll on stealth? Two. And eleven. Oh wait, do I roll it with disadvantage? What because armor have, do you have? I'm in a uh, uh, plate. Yes. Yes, that's right. All right. <laughs> what you get? Two. Okay, so you guys are sitting there. You, I'm you, twice you're trying to be sneaky. You put together. You're sneaking forward. Twice as still. Both of us put together. I'm just like, and I'm like horrible stealthy on that roll because I only rolled five. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Hey, you guys are trying to be stel uh, stealthy, and uh, so you, you, you're, you're, you're listening for those foot uh, those footsteps, and then suddenly they're gone don't hear them anymore. All right. I didn't hear them in the first place, so I'm okay with that. Yeah, you're okay. Okay, so, um... I don't even know why we're trying to be stealthy. 
did break into somebody's house. Um, yeah, you did. No, we, we were we invited. The front door of somebody's house. Yeah, you walked through the front door, um, and you're trying to figure out what this person is doing. I miss Melly. Melly, the tiefling bard, my buddy. Oh. Yeah, he was at the party. No, uh, yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. We he hung out a little bit before the dream sequence. Yep. Okay. So uh, you guys can move yourself around a little bit. Uh, will you move me over to the table? Is there any drink available on the table? Uh, yes, there are open. Uh, there, there is a, a pitcher with some kind of liquid in it. I'm trying to be quiet. Does it smell like alcohol? No. Well, sort of. I'll drink it. It's some kind of. Okay, you drink it. It's some kind of fruity wine. All right. Uh, That's it, fine. It's very elfy. Hey, having been traveling with these civilized people, I uh, uh gotten used to the. Okay. Uh, roll initiative. Yep. We have an advantage or a bonus. We do have advantage because I have my dagger of warning. Mm hmm. Uh, isn't that a certain distance? So, Alex... Yeah, uh, if you're within 30 feet of me. Okay, sorry, Valorn, you do not get nope. that advantage. Oh, let's see. All right. Uh, Stakar, what you get? 22. Bad. Moshi Thrace? 17. Also. And Valorn? 14. Probably doesn't matter. And I'll give you guys one more chance to roll for reception if you want to roll for it. Uh, that's going to be a 14. 14, yes. Huh? 17. 16. Okay. Uh, so uh, what was it? 17 for 16. Thrace, 16 for Valorn. I got a 14, but can I take my passive perception of 16 instead? Sure. <laughs> it doesn't matter. doesn't really matter. Because um, I missed it anyway? Yeah, you guys missed it. They got they rolled really well in their stealth rolls. All right. Okay. So, uh, surprise rounds. I would say mother effers, but I'm not that type of person. And surprise sort of. round, motherfuckers. I am that type of person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. You, you, you did it. Uh, so, you know, um, going over the table is going, uh, the table is difficult terrain. Chairs are difficult terrain. Um, up uh, on either side on the by the door that the, the Counselor of Lore went by is uh, bookshelves. So those are walls. And then, of course, there's walls, and you can see the doorways. So there's bookshelves right next to those uh, half-spiral staircases? Yeah, no, those half-spiral staircases are the bookshelves. Oh. Yeah. These. Oh, I see. Yeah, this. That and that are bookshelves. Um, they don't go all the way to the roof, but they're still kind of sort of still sitting. But you can attempt to climb them and get on top. Uh, yeah. Okay, surprise round. Yep. Okay. So, uh, Thrace, you are being attacked. Yep. That dagger of warning is going to make me not surprised. Yes. Oh, right. It does, doesn't it? Okay. Um, so yeah. You two will still get attacked. I will. You will still get attacked, yes. Yes. Okay. So, um, 
He still has more initiative than you. But well, you see... Your allies get that benefit? I'm just I you. believe it should just give the DMG. It's right here. It's not that stack. But your master is good. DMG, I have a spreadsheet. <laughs> yeah, we have a bunch of interesting well, things on our back right, right now. Right there. Between the 4th edition books and chat over there. <laughs> you just pushed it. Weapon of warning. In addition, you and any of your companions within 30 feet of you can't be surprised oh, cool. except when incapacitated by something other than non magical sleep. The weapon magically awakens you and your companions within range if you are sleeping naturally when combat begins. Okay, so no surprise round for you two. You get an axe. Still have more initiative, but um, so you guys, so you reach down and you grab that drink, and you take a sip, and uh, your 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 dagger, the the demon that's within it, says, "Behind you, look behind you." You look behind you, and coming out over here is a dude. How how did you not warn us? You're like right there, dude. <laughs> not moving. Yet he seems his his this uh, helmet is very his, he's just like this. They can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, uh, you can barely see him. He's um, his body is like kind of blending in the background a bit. He's wearing it's the freaking predator. Yeah. Um, you might recognize him. Uh, if you want to make a uh, intelligence, maybe intelligence or wisdom, whichever one you think would be memory. Intelligence. Oh. Intelligence, yeah, roll in, uh, intelligence then. Uh, Dan, you can make the same, because you, you also hear the voice in your head saying, look behind you, look behind you. Uh, that'll be a 15, 15? because of my awesome plus one intelligence. That's a 17, uh, 16. All right, uh, you do recognize him. You remember that one bar where you got attacked by that those suits of armor and that sword? Oh. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh. These Our are the guys fight. who started it. These are This is the guy that clapped. Yeah. So yeah, he charges straight at you, Dan. Or Thrace. Does a 13 hit you? No. Okay. So that didn't do it. But yeah, he rushes right at you. And uh, his uh, hood falls back. And he's got these very long tusks coming out of his face. <laughs> just charges like swings with the sword, but he also tries to rake you with his tusks. Cuckoo, cuckoo, he is the walrus. <laughs> no. The elephant man. So that is his turn. But he is in the perfect position for me to come up and play. That's yeah. what he's in. Okay, so that was his turn. Okay. Uh, you could be surprised. But he's in stealth. Okay. Uh, Stakar, you are being attacked. Yeah, so surprise means they, they still get to act this round. Uh huh. And they get their defense. But that doesn't mean that they can see what's attacking. So they still get hit with advantage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Thought as much. Okay. Okay, Stakar. Does a 22 hit you? Yes, it does. All right. Yeah. So. You take six damage. And how many points of the dust or, or ash do you have? One. One. Okay. Take an additional. I, I don't get a save this time. Not for this. They're, they're, they're activating the arms. Basically. Take an additional five. Additional Ouch. five. Okay. As from on top of the bookcase, because you can see him now. Yes. There's another dude. And he shot me with something? He shot you with an arrow. He has a, a bow, uh, bow drawn, but it doesn't look Normal? Very weird looking bow. And he fires the shot and it nails you, I'm going to say right in the shoulder. All right. 
And when it does that, your whole body just uh, gets shocked. And you see the, the black ash spring off of you and then swirl together and then pierce right into you. They form like small little daggers and they pierce right back into you. That is his turn. It's Dakar, it is your turn. All right. Well, I will go into a rage. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you will move me towards the guy on the stairs and pass by that chair at the end of the table, because I'm going to be picking it up. Uh, this is a bookcase, not stairs. Oh, looks like it's both. <laughs> it's a bookcase. I know I'll get you there. Okay. Um, uh, move me back yeah. a little bit because I can't. Uh, yeah, you would uh, to get up to him. You have to more. climb. No, one more back. There you go. And I throw the chair. Being a tavern brawler, I am proficient in improvised weapons. Okay. Proficient <laughs> in chair. So this one six does a fourteen hit his AC. <laughs> I'm sorry, but no, actually, it does. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of the other one. My mistake. Yeah. Okay, you hit. And what damage does a chair do? D six. I don't think they have it listed in there. No, improvised or up to the DM. D six, D eight. Uh, I would say a D six. D six. Unless it's like a throne. Yeah. 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 The Iron Throne. <laughs> uh, okay, and that'll be uh, nine damage. Nine damage, huh? And I scream at the top of my lungs, just, ah! Did you add your rage to that? Oh, no, another two because of my rage. Thank you. Okay, so how much total then? Eleven. Eleven damage? He took a bit of damage. Yay. He's going to take more once I get up there and fight his face. Oh, yeah? Okay. Uh, anything else? Uh, No, that was a bonus action to move in an action, so... Hmm. I am good. All right. Uh, The next is Thrace. Thrace, correct? Got it right yeah. this time? Yeah. Okay, good. I started to my stream and so did Oh, I wouldn't do that. If I was going to do that, it would be more obvious. Just stands there and quietly meditates. Yeah, no, I'm going to... Yeah, I'll just cast uh, Shocking Grasp. On the guy next to you? Yeah. Okay. Do it. Yeah. yeah, melee. And I crit. Nice. Nice. Uh, spells damage increases by two feet. You can't take your action. Oh. Advantage if the target's there. wearing metal. He is not. Uh, so that's seven uh, light damage. Okay. Yeah, so what was the damage that? Uh, seven lightning. Seven lightning. And I did 11. I'm assuming a chair would be bludgeoning. Okay. So, yeah. Unless it splinters and then it could be piercing. You have to break it and then. Well, the iron but throne if it broke might be against him. It's slashing bludgeoning. It depends on. Because it is still a large yeah, just well, object. <laughs> like a D8 of slashing and then, uh, you know, like five D6 or something like that <laughs> bludgeoning. Okay, so you smack this guy, he can't take reactions. Yep. Anything else? And then. And you move. All right. 
Lorne, your allies are being attacked. Yeah, I will move Dang up. it. Well, next to uh, uh, is if this is the surprise. Oh, round, this is he, the surprise oh, yeah, round. So get you don't to act you, this round. He's, you don't get to react. He, he still got his eyes covered, thinking they can't see him, and it's working because they Sorry. didn't attack him. Uh, he took another six light damage, so uh, thirteen. Why did you take another six? Because I forgot to double my dice for the crit. Oh, oh yes. yeah. Okay. Uh. Okay. So back to the. Up. Yeah, top of the turn order. I had him backwards. Oh, oh eventually. Yeah. The archer is the one who goes first, not the other guy. All right. So the archer is standing up there. It's his turn. So uh, he's going to jump down at you, Stakar. He's basically just going to drop his bow and jump down at you. Okay. He'll land right there. He's coming right here. <laughs> that just saves me the having to roll a climb check. Yep. <laughs> you probably don't want it that way. You might not. This might hurt you. Oh, jeez. Okay, an eight does not hit. No, it does not. Okay. And now that I'm raging, I have uh, resistance to damage. Yeah. yeah. A weapon damage or all damage? Slashing, piercing, bludgeoning. Okay. Okay, so, yeah, he In missed. In general. Oh, uh... Nope, okay, you're good. So, that was his turn. Yeah, he dropped down at you and missed. Although he had something really nasty lined up for you. I smile and laugh awkwardly. <laughs> <laughs> Correct, you do that. Okay. Thrace, you're being attacked again. This guy charges at you and is going to do it again, trying to hit you. 21, does it hit? Oh, yeah. Okay, this is going to hurt. Thrace is... Okay, you take seven damage. Uh, make a strength save. Oh, and you take an additional 2d6 because you charged. You take an additional nine damage. As he charges at you and he's uh, the initial swing with his sword, and then he plows right into you with his tusks, stabs you. Uh, did you make the strength save? I did not. Uh, 13? I got a 7. You got a 7. Yeah. No, you, you're, uh, knocked down. You were knocked prone. Okay. Um, also make a, a con save. Oh, wait. Uh, you're resistant to poison and disease, right? It's no, immune. I'm immune to poison. You're immune to poison? What about disease? Okay, then, yeah, make the save. Yeah, I'm not close enough. Twelve? Okay, that's enough. That's all you need. Uh, so you kind of notice when the tusks hit you, uh, some black ash appears, tries to stick to you, tries to get into you, and you just like, whoop, take a kind of step back and blow on it or something, and it gets blown away and away from you. Yeah, that's all you gotta do. Every time they hit me, I just blow on the wound. Does okay. that give me advantage on my save? Hmm? <laughs> Just look like Gimli from... Uh... Stickar, it is your turn. Yeah. There's a guy right in front of you, and he tried to eat you. Yes. We'll and, uh, the paper. <laughs> I am going to first punch him. So, wait, are they making out or what? Uh, does a... Six... Uh, Fifteen hit? No, 20. Uh, 20 hits, yes. 20, yes. So 20, which does 4 damage. Okay. Now, as my bonus action, because I'm a tavern brawler, since I hit him, I would like to initiate a grapple. 
Okay. It will be uh, my athletics versus athletics or acrobatics. And since it's strength and I'm raging, I get advantage. Okay. Uh, acrobatics or athletics, correct? Yes, he can roll either. Okay. And that's going to be a 15 for me. He got 19. Okay. Sorry. And then as my bonus action, I will bite Wait, him. I thought you used your bonus action. Oh, I did. I did. Mind. You used your bonus action to avoid the initial. Dang it. Yeah. Okay. Thrace, there's a dude who just charged you and did quite a bit of damage. Uh, Yep. Yep, yep. Uh, I'm going to take my python staff. Okay. Speak it to command word and thrust it between his legs. Okay. And command the snake <laughs> to attack him. <laughs> okay, do it. <laughs> Oh. Uh, it gets its own initiative count. I don't know if you want to throw a... a uh, no. no, they get their own. No, it's now an independent beast. So even if I get knocked unconscious, it's still... As he does that, he says, is that a snake between your legs? Or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> what? Ah! I get it on the opposite side. Uh, it's a giant snake. I can write down the initiative count. I've got everything down. Well, lucky for you, it happens just after you. And so you're trying to get it behind him? Yeah, essentially. Okay. I'll allow it. Well, it's, I, I can put it in this spot within 10 feet of him. Okay, then, yeah. It works. Unoccupied spot. So I figure I just thrust it between his legs. What? Because I say the command word. And it, I say, kill it. Okay. We'll, we'll just go with the initiative that I got, then, which is a 16. Um, so. Oh, yeah. Well, no. I didn't write anything. I, I have a. Okay, so uh, you're telling it to make an attack, or is that your action? Okay. Making uh, bringing it into the snake form is my action. Okay. Um, I will spend half my movement, though, to stand up so that he doesn't have advantage to count on. Okay. That would be my action. Okay, it's snake's turn. Make the snake attack. That's a 22. It hits. How much damage does it deal? Well, yes. Oh. It so does, well, when it hits, it is shooting the oh. So it does deal damage? Yes. Eleven. Piercing damage. Uh, oh, piercing? Uh, yep, you're okay. And he is gone. Okay. Uh, so that's your turn? Uh, that's its turn? Yep. Lorn. Oh, your turn. Great. Uh, something's happening. Oh. Might be hit the snake as well. Uh, no, that's a straight line. Oh, okay. Or. So I'm going to move up six squares. Uh, that's, I'm 
So. Okay. Because yeah. I forgot all about temporary hit points. Yeah. Right? It... Okay. okay. Yep. So, uh, of Lauren cast bless. Out of time. Dang it. I, could, <laughs> I couldn't see it. All right. Anything else, Lauren? Uh, no, I don't. Um, actually, no. As a bonus action, I'm gonna Hunter's Mark. Uh, oh, one of them's already grappled, so Hunter's Mark the other one. That way, he can't turn. Okay. Well, Hunter's Mark just makes it so that you can track actually, them, not that they can't go invisible. Um, Hunter's Mark. Uh, no, I can't do that. It's concentration. Never mind. Oh, yeah, because you can't. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, archer guy. Well, the guy who initially started as an archer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, he is going to uh, he suddenly has drawn two, uh, a scimitar. He's going to swing at you with it. It seems to just, like pop out of nowhere. Almost. Uh, so he's like me. Okay, so he missed. Okay, I'm okay with uh, that. He also gets a second attack. I'm not okay with that. 21. <laughs> that hits. Okay. I thought You take five damage. Seven. Okay. Um, oh, uh, also that ash point that you have. The six that I have? Since you just gave me five additional? No, no. No, I didn't give you five additional, additional points. No, no. It, I just gave you damage. No. Oh. You have. You took six damage. Oh, you still, uh, and that I'm sorry, I misunderstood you. I thought you said I had gained five more black ash. No, there was so six that damage, actually put and me you have one black ash. Eight. Yeah, okay. That one point of black ash, uh, uh, put like an, uh, a mark that it's been used. Keep, oh. keep it there, but put a mark that it's been used. Okay. Okay, uh, so he swung at you with the swords, didn't really do much. Wait, he did five it was the sword slashing, so I would take no, half. It was six original uh, this one. Five was the five extra damage. Okay. So I only took three. Uh, yeah. Uh he then as a bonus action three. touches uh, uh something under his cloak. His eyes grow uh like uh you can see his eyes uh looks fairly human ish. Looks a little different, like the guy with the tusks, but this one has like fangs, and his hands are more like claw-like, like cat claw. Okay. Uh, his eyes, um, the pupil, kind of like does this weird spiral thing, and his eyes, his eyes are completely black right now. Okay. Death to you. <laughs> okay. Uh, the guy with the tusks, he's grappled, correct? Yep. Yeah. So he has to make an athletics test? Yep. He's athletics. athletics or uh, acrobatics. Athletics or acrobatics. He will go with athletics. I believe that's an approach check, right? Or no. no. no it's uh, what's the DC? 16. 16. 16? He does not make it. Okay, so that's bonus. his that's his action. That's his action. Um, bonus action? I don't think he would be able to do this. Uh, he is being kind of held by the snake, so he's not able to kind of move around much. No. 
So, yeah, no bonus action. He can't do it. Okay. Stakar, you have a guy right in front of you. He has a scimitar. And his eyes are now black. What are you going to do? Going to okay. punch him again. Okay. And that'll be 20 hits for 5 damage. And I'm going to use my bonus action. Uh, to... What type of damage is this? This is bludgeoning. It's my fist. Okay, he takes half of that. Okay. What was the total damage then? Uh, it was 5, so it rounds down to 2. Boom. And then I will bite him. Okay. Uh, with my bonus action using my Hungry Jaws ability. Okay. Uh, does a... Does a 16 hit. 16 also hits. Right. That is going... Now, this is piercing, so does that also have? Yeah, that's also half. So 7 would go down to 3. But I gain 4 temporary hit points from that. Because that is my constitution modifier as I eat okay. a chunk of his flesh. Oh, okay. Just rip uh, out a piece of like that muscly part by the on the shoulder mm -hmm. and I just bonk, 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 kind of swallow it whole. Yikes. Okay. Thrace, it is your turn. You are not looking too good, sir. Or grapple, can you take that for a reaction? I don't believe so. Depends on what you do as a reaction. Well, I could take it as a reaction. I would say no. I would say no as well. It says that. So, a strained creature's speed is zero. Attacks against it have advantage. And the creature's attacks have disadvantage. And it has disadvantage in dex save. Huh. Okay. Um, what are you going to do, Grace? I'm going to shock the rest. Okay. It does have disadvantage on the attack if you try to move away. Uh, so, 24. Uh, 24. And this is lightning damage? No, that doesn't hit. Oh, that, yeah, that hits. Twelve lightning damage. Twelve lightning damage. Now you can move. Okay. Okay. Uh, the snake's turn. Uh, the snake's turn. So does that do a damage? Twenty one to hit. It's that does a lot of damage. Sixteen bashing. Activate so it still takes it. Yep. You might be able to finish him off. Valorn, it is your turn. Oh, can I find the jungle place? You can uh, I'll move into that place. Uh, well, 
Nature Wizard. It's sort of ruined the fight already. Um, yeah. yeah, I think I'm just going to hit him upside the head with a battle axe. Do it. Let's see what happens. So 19. 19 hits. Nine damage. Um, slash. Still hits. Still does damage. He's not quite dead. Alright. I probably could have burned spell to make sure. <laughs> okay. Notch. Okay, this archer guy. He's kind of pissed at you. You guys it's are mutual. In... <laughs> and Hence you guys are in the perfect spot for this. Uh-oh. So, uh, make a dex save, both you and Grace. Dex save. Um, do add a d4 to these. Right? Thank you. Thank you. Does the glyph, does the glyph, yeah. no. No, does the... Are you guys kidding me? Okay, so, <laughs> it never the three on the Let die, the one sushi. on the d4, plus my three dex gives me a total of seven. <laughs> Okay, this hits you. And you got a five. And I have a total of five. Yikes. <laughs> okay, this is what happens. He He's kind of pissed that his swords now. and his arrows haven't really been doing enough I'm damage. Just, I'm just pissed that he's attacking me. <laughs> he grabs his hood, flips it back, and his head, like, like grows scales, and it kind of stretches out and forms kind of a reptilian type of face. And he breathes fire straight out at you guys. Uh, it might be Scott down as well. He has some temporary HP. He has more HP than the rest of them. This is a lot of damage. Is it 26? It's 23. I'm still up! <laughs> with three. I'm not dead yet. So yeah, I think I'll go for a outright. walk. <laughs> Ouch. Negative 20. I feel happy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not fooling anyone. Yeah, not fooling anyone. But hey, at least you're Warforged, so uh And yeah. he yeah. like lo- uh, and then his face goes back to normal. He looks at you and he's like Shh, you're still alive, what? As yeah, you suddenly was, kind of basically a Hadouken there. Yeah, that, that was a Hadouken. Now he's sitting there kind of <laughs> So you have advantage on the next attack roll against him. Awesome. Right. So that was his turn. Okay, Mond, uh, the other guy who's constricted. He's kind of pissed that he's all tied up by the snake and it's squeezing him. Yeah. So uh, you, you did say that uh, being restrained doesn't stop him from doing stuff. It he doesn't just stop has him from making attacks. He, just he has, has disadvantage. Da- disadvantage on it. Okay. Oh. Yeah, he, uh, as a bonus action, reaches up and touches something under his cloak as well, and his eyes do the same thing. Oh, well. And then he's going to do an attack. Well, more than one. Oh, Christ, I still have more than one spell. One. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's back. I can do this all day. Well, both rounds. I did one more, actually. Oh, I might roll again. Okay, uh, Valorn. Does a 15 hit you? Uh, no. Does a 12 hit you? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much. Okay. So, yeah, he... Oh, those, those were supposed to be a disadvantage anyways. Well, yeah, you're going to take the one that just missed anyway. I'm going to take the one that missed. One. Whatever. Yeah, basically, uh, a, a maul kind of peers in his hand, and he swings it and misses, and then he tries to rake you with his tusks and also misses. Stakar, this guy is sitting there right in front of you, breathing really, really hard, and yeah, he's yeah, and surprised I've, your life. I've got a press the advantage I can't for my pack blade because that's a full action. So I'm just going to punch him with advantage. Okay. Uh, 17 plus 5 would be 22. Yeah, that hits. And that'll be for 3 damage. Okay. Can't do Hungry Jaws again until uh, I do a short rest. He takes the full damage. He doesn't have the resistance on anymore. Okay. But you could grapple. I am going to spend my bonus action to initiate a grapple since I just hit him. So, athletics or acrobatics? Uh, uh, right? Yeah, for you. Yeah. 
yes. Twenty. You get him. Nice. Able to hopefully turn. A bit, maybe. Nice. And I'm just gonna whisper in his ear. That fucking hurt. <laughs> he kind of whispers back. You should have felt the pain when I got it. Thrace, make a death saving throw. Yay. Two and a nine. Um, uh, technically, I think you add a d4 to these. Yeah. So that's a success. Yep. That's awesome. Success. Okay. Uh, snake's turn. Constrict. Constrict. Let him go. Twenty-five to hit. That hits. Wow. What is that? Eighteen bludgeoning. So that's uh, nine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's halfing it. Huh? Still nine. Yep. He's almost dead. Lorn, kill him yeah, quickly. Let's see if I can finish him off. Um, yeah, I think I'll just hit him. He looks pretty, uh, pretty much over with. Ah, two nineteen. <laughs> I'll take the nineteen. Okay. Which wait, one? wait. If I add a D four to it, does that make it a nat twenty? No. Oh. <laughs> Is it naturally a twenty? Uh, so twelve damage will round down to six damage. Oh gosh, I have double attack. Okay, he's still just barely alive. Once All right, more with feeling. Yep. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. Nat twenty. He's dead. <laughs> How do you want to do this? Um, that's thirteen. So we'll get six for that. Uh, yeah. Fox so he's just kind of. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He might not be dead. Does he have more than six HP? He might have a. Wait. Uh, wait. How much damage did you do? So 13 divided by 2 is 6. Okay, nope, he's at 1 HP. On the second hit? Yeah. Yeah, you, 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 you hit him. You swear you killed this guy. And then he just, the, the, the blackness his in his go eyes go, uh, go away. And he's like, Aah! rages a bit, and his face is all red. And yeah, his whatever. wounds are kind of, you can see his muscles flexing under the scars. And they're like kind of like holding the wounds close. Yeah, I'm just going to walk away from him. So he can take his opportunity to attack at disadvantage. At disadvantage. Okay. Opportunity to attack at disadvantage. Come back and I'll bite your legs hits. off. No. Okay, you walk away. I will uh, move adjacent to Moshi and Star. Okay. So there. Okay. The drag, the guy who just breathed, he kind of has recovered, so he doesn't have the, the you don't have advantage on attacking him anymore. Uh, I do because he's restrained. Other yes. than that, yeah. <laughs> okay, you, you just don't get it from him being exhausted from breathing fire down your guys' That's throats. okay. I took advantage of that one and used it well. <laughs> yes, you did. Okay, so um, you can either use an action try to break the thing yes. or take an attack at disadvantage. Yes. He'll do the attack at disadvantage trying to get Stakar. Because if he hits, he's going to win. Yeah. So... Uh, an eight misses. Yes. Does a fifteen hit? No. Okay. <laughs> misses by one. Two. Two. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he missed. <laughs> yeah. He's he, he's kind of you're kind of holding him. He's like trying to get you with his uh, his uh, every time scimitar. he moves his arm, he just squeeze a little tighter. <laughs> yeah. Not really working. So he's kind of stuck. Mond, I uh, can he can't move, can he? No. Speed is zero when you're restrained. Yep. Speed is zero when you're restrained. Okay, so both of these guys can't move. He's pissed, and he's might as well waste it now. Didn't break the grapple. No. Uh, have the snake make a dex. You know what? Forget that. No, he's gonna help his friend. Okay, so. Oh no. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, uh Stakar and Valorn make a dex save as well. Yeah.
15. Okay. Uh, I got a 16. It's a 15 plus 2 minus Okay, one. you both save. Nice. But you still take half damage. Um, not bad, guys. No, that is bad. Yeah, yeah it's bad. Basically going to be me against the, the both of you. Okay, uh, you and 30... my snake. Oh yeah, the snake. Will okay, take uh, you guys are going to be taking fifteen lightning damage. No, no, I don't think I will. You're resistant, so you reduce it by half. Yeah, I so. think I'll take seven lightning damage. Yep, and nice. I will fall to the ground unconscious. Okay, as uh, same thing kind of happens. His face stretches and he grows kind of scales, and his mouth opens wide. And... <laughs> Basically, a giant lightning beam is shot at you guys. It's like, I'll teach you to dismiss me out of hand. Ah! I'm just like... Okay, so I two guys are down. Uh, how much? Uh, how close are you to dead? completely dead? Uh, you, you don't go to negatives, and that was nowhere near making me... Well, yeah, you, you, you I was keep close track because of how my negative maximum you are. HP is You do? Yes. Yeah. Because if you get well, on the negative, initial hit. You do. On the initial hit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But not further. And it has it's, to go to your negative HP. Oh, okay. yeah. Just any further hits are Just an automatic, automatic fail. That's safe. Yeah. yeah. So since I didn't, I only went to negative 12. Yeah, I was three hit points away from being absolutely dead. Okay. Because I went to negative 20. Stakar. Yes. Make a death saving throw. throw. No. <laughs> you fail? Parafit of wound closure. I automatically stabilize. Oh. Awesome. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> So, no, I'll just stabilize. Thank you. Okay, cool. Nice. You still make the throw, and if it's you get your three successes, you come back? It just says I automatically stabilize. Okay, uh, Thrace. Yeah, because so like, if you get three successes, you stop rolling at that point, right? Yeah. Okay. There's my net 20. Nice. Okay, you're back up. with one HP. <laughs> System people. <laughs> Okay, Snake's turn. That's very, very much a fan. Uh, 20 to hits. Hit. Now he's down. Or 8 bash, uh, bludgeoning. Yep, he's dead. Except Every he's time you zone. come back, do you get a voice in your head asking you to update Acrobat? <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't use Windows. Okay, so yeah, the the snake he's he, he does the breath thing and he's takes a deep breath and then he's like, well, no, having expelled all of his breath, the snake just closes. Yep, yep, and then he just kind <laughs> of if, if you've bones. seen Overlord, the an, anime where the main character squeezes that girl to death, yeah, basically that blood kind of shoots out of his eyes and out of his mouth, out of his ears, it's gross, <sighs> as he is dead. Lord, it is your turn. Oh, and I will psychically command the snake mm -hmm. to attack the other one on its turn. Okay. Uh, action. Yeah. One HP. Yay. Not yet, sir. And then I'll move uh, adjacent to uh, the other one. Uh, I can't get up on the shelf. So you go there and then there. There we go. Okay. I want to box him. Do it. You gonna attack? No, I spent an action. Oh, okay. Lay on hands. I thought it was lay on hands. No, lay on hands is an action. Okay. Because it, you can do a whole bunch of stuff with that. I just did. So you guys are both at one HP, and now would be a great time for him to uh, breath attack you too. Okay, it is his turn, and and there's two guys laying oh, on the ground. And oh, can I make a uh, a sleight of hand? Never mind. So That's unless he's turn. willing to go prone, we're not in a line for him because we're both <laughs> laying on the ground. No, I stood up. Oh wait, no, I couldn't because it's at the end of yeah. the day. So you guys, you guys are both laying under the ground, playing possum right now, and then there I am, right next. Okay. Um, he he recharged his brain. Oh. 
Ouch. The question is, does he realize those two guys are uh, conscious? Uh, I mean, technically, yes. But... Fifteen foot cone. Yeah, can either hit me or hit them. I can't hit both of them. Well, yeah, it's a cone. So, uh, he's going to hit you because you are the there. Yeah. So, yeah, make a deck safe. And the other breath attack didn't do really do much. Yeah, that too. Eight. No, yeah. seven, sorry. Sorry, you take the damage. <laughs> yep. I think I'm next. Good. Fifteen I... fire damage. Oh, that's it? That's it. Well, the last one, half of that was fifteen. Yeah. As that is his turn. And again, you have advantage on hitting him. For uh, the next attack has advantage. That would be my turn. Uh, yeah, Mond is dead. I'm gonna bite his ankle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh, does going unconscious count as a short rest? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Sometimes, but not in this case. You were woken too early. Uh, eighteen plus five. Hits. For four points of damage. There's resistance up right now, so it takes all of it. And since I hit with an unarmed attack, I will use my bonus action to initiate a grapple. <laughs> but you had disadvantage. Technically, he could get up before he does that. Mm, true. He can, he, can, he can use his bonus. Yeah, he can use half of his thing. But... It's just cinematically, it sounds better. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you wrap around his legs. Yep. Pretty much. I'm what are you doing? I bite his ankle and then grab his knee to knock him down into a grapple. Oh, yeah. Grapple on the ground. Uh, but no, I don't. Ah. Yeah. Unless he rolled off. less than an eight. No, he rolled 15. Oh, wait, do I get a four? <laughs> uh, it won't hit a 15. No. Thrace. Stand up. Yep. Okay. Do it, do it just like Dracula. Guiding light. Doesn't matter. We already have advantage up. Uh, no, it was just the first attack. Against oh. Me. Eight. Yeah, miss. Snake's turn. Wait. Wait, what? Add a d4. Uh, well, the d4. So 12. That's 12. Uh, and then I will... Does that hit? It might. Well, no. I have to decide before I know. Uh, but I will... Spend two points to add ten to that roll. Two of my defensive points. Okay. Yeah, it hits. All right. Roll. It's radiant. Yes. I know that. You don't have resistance to it. So are you good? He's not holy. Or on. Well, I don't know. He's got holes in them. Do you think that counts? Yep. Counts. Seventeen. Radiant like damage. Uses adult language. <laughs> okay. God. Where'd it go? Oh, I don't know. The other side I will find table. it with the <laughs> the break. <laughs> okay. Snake's turn. What's its speed? Thirty feet. Now we can slide into that other slot. Hi. Yeah, it can get right there, and it has advantage. So make its attack. Eighteen. 
13 damage. Okay. Does he make an athletics check? No, he's just grappled the way that it works. Okay. Man, that guy's still at like half health. Well, uh, I guess I got advantage. Might as well uh, start wailing on him. Uh, Nat 20. Okay. I will go ahead and uh, cash in a spell, I think. Oh. oh, wait. Um, hold on a second. 8, 16, 17. Oh, because you crit. That's why. I <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> what is that? Um, Two eights and a seven? Yes. 16 plus seven is 23. So 23 plus 17 is 40 damage. 40? Yes. Still alive. All right. Oh. Second attack. <laughs> Oh, snap. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. oh, man, if I was a champion fighter. But it's another hit. Um, yeah, screw it. I would like this thing to be over here, so I will uh, cash in. Um... Yeah, I don't want to do a level. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Uh, that's a Oh, I forgot to add my six for that. So I'll just add it onto this one. Okay. Uh, six foot, 24 more damage. I want to do this. <laughs> That's right. As he's at negative one. Oh, wow. Almost to crumble. Um, yeah. Just uh, pretty much play him. And uh, there's the guy trying to grab on, latch onto his ankle. Snakes wrapped around his, uh, probably around his legs. Just and I'm just gonna, on like, his calf. Just keep smashing down on him. Okay. So that guy's put you dismembered. Six rounds that it took you to do this. Yep. Okay. And then I'll spit at him. Yeah. It, he, you, 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 cut, you cleave him and he just kind of falls apart. Yeah. He just, he's gone. Um, so yeah, there you guys are, and then you uh, you hear a, a, a kind of a noise coming from the the office where the counselor of lore came came from. She steps out, uh, the door opens, and she sees Thrace standing there. Or you're standing right, mm-hmm. standing there, and goes, "What?" And is about to cast some kind of magic at you, and then wait a minute, stops herself. Thank goodness. I was about to cast whole person on her. Yeah, she 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 notices who you are. You too. <laughs> and and stops herself. Thank goodness. And I you would... see she's bleeding and bloody all over as well. Huh. I would like to end this guy's uh death saving throw just in case. The guy yeah, the guy on the ground right there. You you gonna coup de gras him? Yes. Okay, do it. Just just yeah. roll, roll, roll. You, you don't do have it. to roll you just as an action. Okay. Yeah, I would like to end. end yeah. Him. Okay. So yeah, you, you cut him with basically even more than you did before. I don't know what this monster is. Um, I will decapitate. Yeah, you 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 look at these guys and uh, they're sort of human. <laughs> they, um, they are not. Human. No, they're they're not quite human. But w- when you do kill them, the guy with the tusks when when he died, his tusks kind of like retreated back into his skull and the other one the claws and kind of fangs kind of also retreat disappear as well uh they are human for all intents and purposes uh, by their looks but they are a little modified modified. yeah there's obvious like uh points of like surgery type stuff Hmm. on them yeah I will uh, stand up, and I will walk into that room that the counselor is in, find a place to crash, and do so. Okay, so that's what he's doing. I'll put you right in there. Or right, well, I'll, I'll reveal the area. Okay. It's 
kind of an office. So there's a there's a there's a chair. Right. Big chief. Big nope. Chair. I'm gonna curl up under the desk. <laughs> okay. You are Crash under the out. desk. And there's a window at the back side. Um in there you also find uh you find evidence of uh, magic blasts and everything. And also also in one corner you see like a, a, the remnants of a magic circle of teleportation that's been removed. Is there a pile of ash somewhere in the room, too? Yeah, there's ash everywhere. Oh. Black ash. Uh, the the counselor does not seem to be covered by any of it. Right. Uh, it seems like it's her spell is not chosen. Uh, Sorry, fire. Thank goodness you're here. What happened? Uh, these are the creatures that have been attacking various places uh she goes and sits down at her desk (laughs) she she goes and sits at the desk and he's curled up under her feet basically she doesn't care okay the chair nor do i by crash i'm taking a long rest yes the the chair you guys i'm going home the the chair is pushed back a bit so yeah she's kind of clutching at some of her wounds and whatever uh, she seems to be. Miss, do you require my? I'll be fine. Thank you for helping me. I always felt that somebody was been watching me in the past, past days. Yes. These two act like these guys were the ones that uh attacked me. In. Uh, guys, roll perception. Nope, oh, okay. I'm crashed out. Twenty one. Uh, Six. Twenty one might do it. Twenty one does it. Uh you see a body get up and slam the door closed. One of the guys out there? Mm-hmm. One of the bodies stands up, walks like, over like the door. With the decapitated one or the uh, no the other one. Okay. I should uh, he like char- he like charges over the tusks come back and he just charges right into the door slamming it closed. Uh, danger. Shouldn't be. Those were. Uh, I recognize them. Notch Kling, and Mon Schwert, of the Assassin Guild. Very powerful ones. But they set fire to this building. I don't believe so. I don't know. They, from what I got from this, they were trying to be very stealthy and keep this quiet. It's coming very close to finding out who they're working for, what all this is, what all is going on down there. She uh, reaches into her desk and pulls out some kind of crystal and sets on the desk and everybody heal uh, 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 hit die without spend, expending it. Everybody can if they choose to. Yeah. <laughs> One. Mm-hmm. Oh darn. She does as well, and the crystal kind of shatters into dust and disappears. Huh? It said over mod. So, nope, nobody's going to charge out the door to find out what happened? Uh, well, as far as I can tell, we're in some kind of uh, magic. Yep. The- I, I am, I am strong enough, I don't think, to okay. really contest. Unless my holding dagger the door tells open. me that someone's coming in, because it will wake me from normal sleep. Yeah. No, it, it pretty much, it, it, you know, the, 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 your demons whispering in your ear, they're gone. They're gone. You don't need to worry. Rest. And that's exactly what I do. Okay. Um, 
Oh, uh, uh, Thrace, Moshi Thrace. Uh, you're hearing the voice, and you're uh, you're getting a feeling from the room that yeah, this is magically sealed to be safe. But the ash that you're standing on is the same ash that seems to be affecting these guys. Okay. And it, your 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 soul's going crazy, going, this is bad crap. Get out. Even if it's safe, get out. You don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. Uh, right. I should leave this room. I'm just in here. Uh, yeah, door opens. And you see uh, the, the guy with the tusks standing there making some symbols with his hand. And his eyes are going a little wide. Old person. <laughs> okay. Make a wisdom save. Make a wisdom save. He shall do so. <laughs> Does an 18 succeed? Yes. Uh, okay. I was going to cast Spirit Guardian. Okay, well, he is... Um... That our proficiency bonus is high. I could have gotten it up to 15. Yeah, so he's kind of standing there. You try to do hold person, and he's like, no. Pops his hands, and he vanishes. Uh, you guys pretty much all ran out the door, I would say. Oh, I kind of pushed him. Yeah, do either of you get me? Uh, no, your dagger goes off saying, get out now, get out now, get out now, get out then now. Then I will, yeah, okay. As okay. long as one of those two things happen, one of them got me or the dagger told yeah. me to leave. Uh, he disappears, and then uh, the circle, he was standing on a magic circle, something comes up, shoots at the room, and the counselor dives out the door, or out the door, tackling whoever's in front of her, which I think is Lauren. Yes. Yeah. Well, she can attach onto me. Yeah, it's not like I'm going down. Slaps on the yeah, just kind of tackles at you and like grabs the door on her way out and closes it. And then you guys hear a <laughs> yeah, you open the door back and there is no room, it's like an empty space as if nothing had been built there before. Hmm. Damn, well, that was close. Hope you're uh. Information for gathering these materials. Yes. Well, let's hope we have a good memory. Set it back up. Uh, she runs over to the other body and starts looking through it. It's got to have something. Aha! And she pulls out a note. She pulls out a note. Uh, if you scroll down, it's got the description of what it says. Death. Or close what? Bows. She, she uh, holds it up and kind of reads it out loud for you guys all to hear. Um, it is in a language that... Uh, what languages do you guys speak? Common, Common Draconic, and, and Orc. Supernal, Draconic, Elvish. Okay. Then, yeah. Uh, supernal. Uh, supernal is... Uh, that's... That, I haven't heard of it. Oh, never mind. You're thinking... Yeah, I'm thinking internal, so sorry. No, never mind. You guys can't read. Uh, she goes, yeah, it, it's a contract to kill us. Well, to kill me. You guys just happen to be here at the right time. Say. 
How'd you know about this? Why, why were you here? Well, you like said, sent us a letter? Or your people sent us a letter? I met your sister. Well, oh, yeah, you did get a letter. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. So uh, she's like, "Oh, my sister sent a letter." She's always watching. In fact, I received most of my information came from my sister. Anyways, might be good to check in with her. She might have information on it. In fact. She reaches into her tunic and her pocket of her tunic, pulls out a letter from Mr. Sam. I think he said it's not working. It should be, yeah. I found information on the Church of the Old Gods, near the Temple City. I went there and came across some information that might just shake your entire cap off. I'll wait for you if I get some information and check in on you when you get some more adventure news. No need to wait, but I will be back. Uh, yeah, so she was, uh, I will just shake my head. Oh, what was the tip she was bringing? Yes, I, I received this to, uh, just Pull before the party. Huh? Pull out my He's playing kids. with himself. <laughs> yep. Okay. Gonna have to find out <laughs> more about this. Gotta, uh, But does it vibrate? I'm emotional. <laughs> you three should rest here. I'll make sure no one disturbs you. I'm going to go back to the party and check in with a few things. Stay here and rest. And then when I come back, I'm going to send you out to find my sister. Careful. Of course. Good luck. She leaves. And we're going to end it there. Bum, bum, bum. But, um, Join us next time. Another glitch. The visual version. Yeah. We got camera. Hi, camera. <laughs>